On September 19th of this year, The Sims released two new kits, the Artist Studio Kit and the Storybook Nursery Kit. I was actually on a trip to Victoria, BC while this was happening. <clears throat> check out my vlog channel. And I haven't gotten the chance to check them out. So today, thanks to the EA Creator Network, I will be building with the two new kits. We have laid out pretty much everything from the two new kits, except for a couple of the swatches. Obviously, I was a little bit more lazy with the Artist Studio Kit. Also, short summary, I think that they're both great. I personally like the storybook nursery one better. I feel like it's a little bit more up my alley, but I do think I will get a lot of use out of the art studio kit. I do wish that they gave us floors though, and maybe some more walls. I think I'm gonna start by making our storybook nursery. Out of the swatches of the storybook nursery kit, I'm liking the pink and blue ones, who is surprise, obviously nobody. I love pink and blue. So I think I'm gonna try to go with that. I think I wanna use the cribs instead of the little bassinets. I'm gonna grab this one, and I'm gonna also only be using the kits and the base game. But first I'm gonna start with the nursery kit so we can decide what items we're gonna be using. We obviously have to use this little clothing rack as well as the dollhouse. This is so cutie. It kind of looks like the goth mansion. Is it supposed to? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm lying. Gotta use this. I'm gonna try to use everything. Obviously not in this swatch. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. The changing table, the toy jail, the pictures, the lamps. It's all gotta go in here. Let's actually just start putting some things down. I have this idea of like a lofted space. I don't know why I just do, but I'm gonna take some walls here and kind of create this little like square shape. And then I'm going to raise up the floor, I think by like two. And then I'm gonna remove the walls, throw a little wall here, toss this here. And then the crib would go right in there. I kind of like it. Pair it with some stairs that will obviously change later, like so. I just feel like I don't use like lofted spaces very often. And I feel like this is a perfect excuse to use one. Oh, I didn't even see if we got windows. Did we get windows? with the new kits? No. <laughs> I do want to put some windows down though. Maybe, ooh, maybe something like this. I don't know. Let me change the colors though before I forget. Oh my God, stunning. <gasps> Wait, I feel like these are so perfect. Yeah, that's cute. I also feel like we should put this little, what is this thing called? The mobile. Is that like too much? Maybe not, maybe it is, maybe not. I don't know. I could change it later if I really hate it. I kind of like just the white and blue one. Yeah, it's cute. Let's change the color of this thing here. Now we could do white or we could do the pink. I'm kind of thinking I want to do it white. Let's change the color of the dollhouse, of course. Oh my gosh. It's literally a Barbie dream house. It's a Barbie dream house. Look at the little piano. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed. It's so cute. Okay, okay. Let me not get ahead of myself here. Oh, we have to use this swatch of the rug though. Where is it? This one, it is my favorite. Oh, it's gorgeous. Let me grab the hanging clothes and I feel like pink would be cute. I feel like it would make sense to have like the changing table over here. Yeah, I feel like the, having the white and gold is the best because it's like, then you don't have to do the pink and blue. Cause like the pink and blue is cute for like a centerpiece, but I don't want the whole room, you know? I wanna use these curtains, but they're a little large. So I think I'm gonna, oh my God, they're perfect sized down. Oh my God, they're stunning. Actually, maybe not there, but I feel like if a nursery, they kind of need windows now because like babies nap during the day. I want to do something large though so that when they are not closed, it brings in a lot of light. Ooh, I feel like this is cute. Yeah, that's really cute. Or even this. Okay, wait, I feel like that one's a little bit better. Then we can add our new curtains. <gasps> They're actually so perfect sized down. Like I actually could not ask for better curtains. They are so perfect sized down. Okay, changing tables over here. I would like some more windows. Maybe a big one right here. I feel like we need a door. I feel like that matches the vibes. I wanna add like a fun play area. And this toy chest is like literally my favorite part. Like you're lying. This is literally the cutest thing ever. I wish we did have a little bit more swatches of this dollhouse because like the pink one's cute, but like the rest of them are really dark. And then there's like only a couple ones that are like light. I do want to add, I feel like a mirror right behind here would be perfect. Ooh, it, maybe even something like that. Kind of a vibe. Maybe I don't love this dollhouse. Like I want to use it, but I really, I don't know. Maybe 
let's size it down. If you don't know, by the way, I think I've said this a million times, but you can size down dollhouses in The Sims 4 because your Sims don't actually play inside the dollhouse, they play outside of the dollhouse. So you can size them down and it'll still work. Ooh, a little bookshelf with a rocking chair could be cute. I'm not really sure where I wanna put this toy chest yet. So I'm just gonna stick it in that corner. Let's do the rocking chair bookshelf and then maybe the little side table. I want to use our Sims 3 camera so that I can actually spin this. Oh, a diaper bag. I did not see this at any point. Throw that in the corner, I guess. I do want to use this shelf, which I think I guess I'll put it there. Obviously, I'm not going to put it over the window. And we'll do a little pink baby photo on there, shall we? And now that I added that little thing over there, I can put the lamp on it like so. Okay, I feel like it's coming together. Where does this toy box go though? Is it weird there? Kinda. Yeah, it's kind of weird there. I don't know what else I would put there though. It's kind of a weird spot. What do I put here? I could put a plant. Oh yeah, maybe this like sized up. Oh, I feel like it kind of eats. I don't know where to put this toy box. It feels out of place. I don't know why, but it just does. We could just chuck it in this corner, call it a day. I don't have to use everything, obviously, but I want to use as much as possible. We'll put the little raccoon next to the, we can put it next to the bookshelf. We can add toy jail. Gotta have toy jail, of course. Switching this with this is a good idea. I wish the toy box was kind of a little bit longer. Is that weird? No, I feel like it's not weird. This thing is for infants, right? Like our baby could use this. Let's throw this on the ground, just like in the middle over by the play stuff. I know a lot of these toys are like for older children, but it works. Also, I think I'm gonna scoot, I wanna scoot this over one and then maybe we could put like a plant in that back corner or something. Let's also add some base game toys as well. Oh, we can also add the blocks, I forgot. I would love to add some beige baby blocks. Ooh, the unicorn I feel like would go perfect in here. Cute. Oh, or even the bunny. Maybe the bunny. Yeah, let's do the bunny instead. Let's put some white baby blocks outside of toy jail. I feel like a wabbit tablet makes sense too. Perfect. I feel like we should actually add some wallpaper and floors now. So we have the new wallpaper. Let me see what it looks like. It's cute. I don't know. Let me put it around the whole room. I don't know. I feel like it's just not giving. I feel like I want to do something like this maybe. Yeah. Yeah, wait, I feel like that's kind of perfect. Is it too much pink though? Is that possible? Yeah, I think that's cute. And I feel like it matches. And then as for the floors, I feel like just a white wood would be perfect. Up here as well. I need to change these stairs into wood stairs, of course. Stonen. Should we get a curtain on this window here too? And then I could scoot this a bit forward, scoot this. I feel like we could use a lamp. That's I feel like that's what I feel like is missing from this pack is a lamp. Like this right here. Well, actually, sorry, we have a lamp. <laughs> I mean like a floor lamp. That's what I was trying to say. We are missing a floor lamp. And I did almost forget that I want to use the chandelier that comes with the pack. It gives it kind of like a gloomy vibe. I think I might use it and then I might add like, oh, it's kind of low. I feel like it needs to be, yeah, more over here. Maybe I'll also put it directly over this play mat, even though I feel like that might be a little dangerous. It's fine. And then to make it brighter in here, I'm actually just gonna throw this over top of it because I don't like my rooms to be dark. I feel like with that, here is our storybook nerd nursery kit room all complete. I think it turned out super duper cute. I love the pink and blue. I love the little lofted space too. Let's move on to our next room, which is going to be for the artist studio kit. I didn't put out as many swatches, but I feel like for this artist studio kit, we should base it around the easel. I'm loving the dark, like natural wood, like this one or not dark, I guess it's like the natural wood color. I feel like this one is the best. And maybe for this one, I wanna start with the wallpaper because I think I wanna use this as almost an accent wall. Or maybe we do the whole room this and then have this wall be an accent wall. Yeah, that could be fun. I want something artsy looking, duh. I'm really not loving anything so far. We could just do like a brick. A brick is always good. And then the floors, does this match? Okay, wait, it kind of does. We could do that as the floor. But then now I'm thinking that this is not, we could do white. Let's throw on some windows. I feel like these ones would actually be perfect for this room. Throw in some brown here, you know, need a nice view so they can look out and paint. 
Oh, or we could do these ones to give a little bit more of like an industrial vibe. Yeah, actually, I think I want to do these ones because these ones also look like they open up. I like the mixing of the woods. I think I'm going to keep it as it is for now. Definitely need one of these workshop tables. Maybe I'll throw that against this wall here. I would love to use the new desk as well. A new shelf. Oh, we have to use this thing as well. I don't know where it's going to go. Maybe just behind it here. I don't even know. And we've got to add this, of course. So far, so good. Is it weird to put that behind there? Maybe I could put that like above the crafting table here and then change that into that. Oh, we gotta have a sink somewhere too. Maybe over by the workbench, I feel like would kind of make sense. We have to use the messy swatch of everything. It's just, it has to be done. Let's add a door so I don't forget. Maybe a door like that. Yeah, let in some more natural light. Oh, or maybe we could use the new sliding door. Yeah, maybe this is like a shed is kind of what I'm feeling like this is gonna be. I feel like behind our painting here, I would, or our painting area, I would love to add this little like swatch thing. Ooh, I wanna add this cart in here as well. Maybe that could go like right here. Yeah, maybe a fun pop of yellow. I love all the clutter that this pack has. I just love the messy swatches. They're my favorite. We could put this over here, have the sink in this back corner. I wanna put these next to our little desk here, or maybe I could put them over here. Yeah, maybe keep this area a little bit more spacious. I like having the little like different colors. We need this. This is another base game item. And this is just perfect right here. As well as having some like empty canvases and even some finished ones. I love adding the finished ones like leaning against the drying rack. So cute. I feel like we could probably get this thing in this corner here. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. So then they could have like a little model station. I feel like the white backdrop makes the most sense. So then we could add the pedestal. Don't mind the fact that it currently has a flower on it. Okay, cute. And then honestly, I feel like having the flower on it wouldn't be a bad idea. I like the dead version, not gonna lie. Yeah, cute, a nice way to incorporate it. I think we have a second pedestal, correct? Yeah, maybe this would go better in front of here. And then we could add this as like a stool, even though it's not. I wish the Sims could sit and paint. I think that would be so cool if they could do that. I think this is a desk though, correct? So I feel like I need a chair. Oh, maybe it's not. Hmm, I totally thought it was. Okay, well, not an issue. I will just throw a chair like this in front of it to act as if it's a desk. And then we can grab the new little writing tablet, or sorry, drawing tablet, what am I saying? Yeah, throwing it back there is perfect. The little books right there look perfect. I think I wanna raise this up on the desk as well, these like palettes. <gasps> oh, we could mix the two paint splatters. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, wait, that's super cute. Let's also maybe get a rug over by here. Do I even want a rug? I feel like a rug would just get messy in here. This one here sized down could be kind of cool. Maybe actually just by the front door. Yeah, like a little, little welcome mat. Now I feel like we need some art on the walls. I feel like is super important. Yeah, these are the sketchings that we actually have in The Sims, which is cute because they kind of match the other one. Like you could like put them together and I feel like they wouldn't look that odd. Kind of a vibe. I don't actually know where I want to put this now. I kind of want to put it here, but is that weird? Sure, we'll throw it there. I also think I want to get a painting from the gallery. I want to add a painting that our Sims actually do like these. Let's add this picture here. I actually kind of want to size it down a little bit. Okay, cute. Last thing I want to add is the new lamp item. Oh, I also kind of want to add that torso somewhere. Let's add this lamp just like right there, honestly. Have it be this like messy yellow color. Or sorry, that is definitely white. <laughs> and where would the torso go? We could size it up and throw it in the corner. Yeah, wait, kind of a vibe. Okay, kind of cute. As a finishing touch, I would love to add a little light. And with that, I think this is gonna be our artist studio kit room all complete. I think it turned out really, really nice. And I think we used pretty much everything in the pack, if not everything. I keep calling it 
it a pack, it's a kit. I'm so sorry. And those are our two rooms all complete. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that fun YouTube stuff as it really helps out my channel. Comment down below which one of these rooms was your favorite as I would love to know. And if you wanna download these rooms for yourself, you can find them on the gallery under these hashtags or my gallery ID is just Sim. Once again, thank you to the EA Creator Network for supplying me with these two kits. If you're considering getting them for yourself, please use code Sim at checkout as I do receive a small commission when you do. Make sure to check out all my social medias down in the description, like my TikTok, Instagram, and my Twitch, where I stream this whole build process live. And if you're into watching the VODs over on YouTube, check out my more Ryua channel. And with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you so much to my channel members, Denise, Busra, Stephanie, and Ella. If you want to shout out at the end of every single video and see videos like these up to a day early, you can become a member today by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button.